All right, welcome to our final episode from chapter seven. And in this episode, we're going to cover two concepts. Number one, differential gene expression. Uh, basically what that is, is how does a skin cell become a skin cell and not a muscle cell in a multicellular organism like yourself? And then we're also going to talk about the level of organization in multicellular creatures. Uh, cells, tissues, organs, organ systems, etc. But I first I want to start off with the differential gene expression. And if you look right over here, we're talking about specialized cells. Specialized cells perform special functions. So for example, muscle cells, they're going to contract. Uh, nerve cells are going to send signals. Um, skin cells are going to be a, a nice covering to protect you from germs and whatnot. But even though a skin cell, a muscle cell, and a nerve cell, they have all 46 chromosomes for humans, so therefore they have every single gene that you need to survive, a skin cell will only pay attention to the genes that are for the skin. And a muscle cell are only going to pay attention to the genes that deal with being a muscle cell, and a nerve cell will only deal with the genes that allow it to be a nerve cell. And that is called differential gene expression. Differential just means different. I'm reading different parts of the genome. Gene expression means that it's going to go through transcription. You get that written in here for you. And translation. So in other words, that uh, protein or RNA is going to be made. So different cells express different parts of the genome, and that gives them their special function. So that's what differential gene expression is. All right, now we're going to end with something very, very simple that you probably learned about in Chapter 1. We're talking about the characteristics of life. So this only occurs in multicellular organisms, and we're going to start with individual cells, nerve cell, skin cell, whatever, just like we talked about before. Now, when a bunch of skin cells or a bunch of muscle cells or a bunch of nerve cells are working together on a common function, that's called a tissue. So similar cells working together. You take a bunch of tissues and put those together, and then you're going to have an organ. So think of an organ as made up of different tissue layers. So for example, your stomach and your intestines, they have three separate tissue layers, and those three layers together will make that organ. You put a bunch of organs together, and then you're going to have an organ system. So think of your digestive system. You've got your esophagus, your stomach, your small intestine, your large intestine, and those will all make up your digestive system, okay? Now, we could add a number five down here, and that would be an organism. So an organism is a bunch of organ systems working together. So let me give myself time to get caught up here. So if you think of like in your body, you've got your circulatory system, which would be your heart and blood vessels. You're gonna have your pulmonary system, which would be your lungs, you're going to have your nervous system, your uh, integumentary system, which would be your skin, your muscular system, your skeletal system. You put all those together, and that's going to make up you an organism. All right, I got a great picture to show you. Here is a, a soccer player. Let's get rid of those things. And here's an individual cell. This is actually a heart cell, so let's use red to write on here. So this is what we would call a cardiac cell. Cardiac is the word that means heart. And cardiac cell is actually, well, say actually it's cardiac muscle. So let's write that in there. So cardiac muscle cell. And they have these branches, and you see these little dashes right in there? Those are called intercalated discs, and those allow the signals from one muscle cell to get to another so that they'll beat in unison with that bump, 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 bump. Bum, bum. And if you look over here in this picture, you see these little lines right in there? Those are the intercalated disc. Also, cardiac muscle cell is very unique. They're actually branched. So you see how it branches off here and it branches off there. Um, you don't see that in skeletal muscle, which would be like your biceps or your pectoral muscles. All right, so we get a couple of different tissue layers, and this would be your organ. You know, obviously this is the heart. Uh, ventricles up top. I'm sorry, atria is on top, uh, ventricles on the bottom. And then finally, here's your organ system. Blue are veins, red are arteries, and then there's your other organ right in there. Okay, so 
pretty basic stuff, remember? Cells, tissue, organ, organ system, and then finally, organism. All right, that's going to wrap up this chapter, 13 full episodes. You got two weeks to work on your menu. Make sure you get those done. And until the next series, we'll catch you on the flip side.